AMT, innovating, educating, changing lives. The Atlas U-Stitch is a suture delivery device that uses exclusive magnetic technology to form a U-Stitch within a hollow viscous to affix it to the abdominal wall. This device is offered in two tray configurations, one device per tray and two devices per tray. Additionally, the exterior label of the box has several important identifiers for you to consider. Now that we have covered the exterior, let's go inside the box. With the box open, we can see the tray containing two devices. This device features a double barrier, a sterile pouch and tray for aseptic presentation in the operating theater. The tray includes two Atlas U-stitch devices. Removing one from the packaging, we can see some of the defining features of the device. At the proximal end of the device is the Advancement Hub with the Blue Suture Retrieval Probe. Moving down is the Yellow Removable Device Lock, which is designed to protect against accidental deployment of the device. Next is the Clear Needle Hub with the AMT logo molded across, followed by the preloaded 3.0 braided permanent suture. Nearing the distal end is the bumper, parallel introducer needles, and finally, the needle cover. Next, we will examine a few aspects in greater detail. As compared to other devices used for securing hollow viscera to the abdominal wall, the Atlas U-Stitch offers several key advantages. Looking specifically at the needle points for this device, there is fixed spacing. Additionally, these tips are designed to avoid nicking the skin before insertion. This device features exclusive magnetic technology used to form the U-stitch within the hollow viscous. The magnets reliably connect under 2D vision with quick and automatic attraction at the operating site. Moving along the device to the silicone bumper, this optional external bumper is compliant and flexible. As compared to the leading competitor, this bumper has a 36% smaller footprint. 20% lower profile, and greater than 77% softer bumper. The Atlas U-Stitch is indicated to secure any hollow viscous to the abdominal wall before the insertion of an interventional catheter. This includes the stomach, both the large and small intestine, as well as the bladder. For each of these hollow viscera, there is a PEXI procedure associated. For the stomach, there is gastropexy. For the intestine, there are enteropexy and cecopexy, depending on the location within the organ. Finally, for the bladder, there is cystopexy. Once the viscera is attached to the abdominal wall, the desired interventional catheter may be placed. For this portion of the video, we will be demonstrating proper use of the Atlas U-Stitch device. As a reminder, the device is only to be used by qualified clinicians. We will now demonstrate use with guidance and commentary. Before proper device use can occur, ensure that the hollow viscous is sufficiently insufflated. You have endoscopic visualization of the insertion site and have marked the intended insertion site. Once this is complete, the user must remove the needle cover from the device. As the needle cover is removed, the suture will unwind automatically. Following this, the device is ready to be inserted into the patient. 
At the marked site, insert the Atlas U-stitch device into the hollow viscous. Once you have finished advancing the device, confirm needle position using endoscopic visualization. If correct, continue with placement. To prepare for deployment, remove the yellow device lock. With your thumb and middle finger on the needle hub, take your index finger and depress the blue suture retrieval probe and suture advancement hub until it reaches the clear needle hub. Once you confirm that the magnets have connected, you are ready to begin pulling the blue suture retrieval probe straight up and out of the introducer needle. As you pull the blue suture retrieval probe, you will soon see the magnets that were used to form the U-stitch. Once the magnets have cleared the introducer needles and are both fully visible outside of the shaft of the needle, disconnect the magnets and set aside the blue suture retrieval probe. Now you are able to remove the delivery device. If you plan on using the silicone bumper, hold the bumper as you remove the needles to ensure it stays in place. There are many options for final securement of the device. With the Atlas U-Stitch, the clinician has the option to choose what orientation best fits their own style and present situation. Once you have secured the device appropriately, you may now cut off the remaining magnet on the end of the suture. The site is MR safe once the suture is properly placed and after the delivery device is removed. After removal, ensure that all magnets are accounted for. Thank you for watching.